Atlanta and I got to read with Robert Downey Jr. And I, I got to hang out with Tom Holland a, a couple of times, you know, it was all doing that thing. And Hi, Charlie. Hi, Lupe. Good to see you. Good to see you too. What a wonderful performance. Wow. Oh, I was very so taken aback. I was very taken aback by the movie and your performance. You're playing Adam, <clears throat> excuse me, a schizophrenic teen. And just the way this movie approaches it, how was it for you as an actor to approach it? Because you have to be very respectful because this is a real thing. Yeah, I think that's that's the first step. I think understanding my place in the scheme of things and, and knowing that, you know, I'm an actor and I'm not a psychiatrist and I need to educate myself on what this experience is like before even really, even really getting too down the line of thinking about playing this person. Um, and so that was really it. I, I, I read the script first. I had an initial conversation with Tor, but that was something to him that I said out the gate was obviously I trust that he's a good director. He knows how to visually, you know, manipulate things and make things compelling and dramatic and cut things together. And he's so good with that stuff. But I was really saying, I think we also equally, if not even more so need to put a focus on just making sure that this is really grounded in these circumstances and that they're honest, because I think if, if it turns out that it's actually just using the idea of schizophrenia as, as a way to tell a, a compelling story, then that is is not really what I'm interested in signing up for. And he was fortunately so, you know, on the same page with all that stuff. And he had already been having conversations at length, of course, with people that do know what they're talking about when it comes to this stuff. So that's really where it began for me. And then just branched out from there. And for you, when those moments where you kind of, I'll call it zoning out, when you're hearing the voices and you're actually, all of us are physically seeing these characters or personalities, what was it like for you on set? Well, I, I would I would think it was probably a lot harder for the people that were having to pretend to not see these people, you know, because for me, of course, as an actor, it's all from my perspective or a lot of the movies from my perspective. So, so I had the benefit of when, you know, it's in the script that I'm seeing Lobo with a baseball bat next to someone's head that I am getting to see that. And unfortunately, you know, Taylor might have to pretend as though there is not a huge muscly man that's about to, you know, hit her in the head. But, but yeah, for me, I think I actually got the benefit with that situation. Um, and, and that was also just great because Tor did such a great job assembling that group of Lobo, Ana Sophia and Devin. And they just brought such an energy to, to really everything that they were in that, that was so valuable to me throughout for sure. Now, I wanted to confirm with you, I read somewhere that you were the final candidate for Spider-Man. Was that true? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 um, I, it was, I tested for it. This was probably five or six years ago now. I was 15. I had barely done anything. Um, but I flew down to Atlanta and I got to read with Robert Downey Jr. And I, I got to hang out with Tom Holland a, a couple of times. You know, it was all doing that thing. And and yeah, it, it, it was obviously a bummer. It didn't work out, but he crushed that part. And it was always his, I think. So. Well, as an actor, do you always, do you feel like you're meant for something else? I mean, I think, you know, there's just an element to it that you got to just embrace, which is, I think as an actor, your nature is like, I'm the guy for this. And at the time, especially, I was like, oh man, this is my, you know, I, I need to play Spider-Man, all this stuff. But, but in retrospect, I, I know like, you know, I really was 15 and that would have been a lot. And I don't know how I would have been able to handle that. And I think Tom being a little bit older, having a lot more experience working and all that stuff. I think he was just 100% the right guy for that. And, and in retrospect, I look back and I'm so grateful for that learning experience of going through that system and, and understanding what it's like to, to even think about doing a movie of that size. But, uh, but yeah, I think it all worked out as it, as it does. Well, I think it was a wonderful performance and I think it'll like expand your career in so many ways because you were just so wonderful in this film. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Sure. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too.